you're not a beginner to the gunner anymore. You've gone through the beginner builds for the midi gun and the auto cannon. Now you're ready to take on the hardest missions in the game, like the deep dive and the elite deep dive. This is the best damage per second build you can run on the auto cannon without any overclocks. So, for those of you ready to make the leap and be someone on your team that can literally save a deep dive that's about to fail, this is the build for you. Hi guys, I'm Legionless and this channel is about helping you enjoy your games more. If you want to enjoy your games more, subscribe to the channel and like this video to help me out. Make no mistake, this isn't going to be the easiest build for you to pick up. If you don't think it'll be easy enough for you to use, check out my beginner build for the auto cannon instead and then use this build when you're ready. The goal of this build is to squeeze out as much damage out of the auto cannon as possible. For you gunners moving to higher level missions and end game content, I want you to be equipped with the best build for the auto cannon so you can start collecting those overclocks and those cosmetic items. You'll be able to quickly clear through swarms of enemies coming not only at you, but your teammates. One of the most important, if not the most important job for the gunner is to protect the team and escort them through a six successful mission. With this build, you'll also be able to do really good and consistent damage to dreadnoughts and other high priority targets that can and will go through your team. Honestly, if you're skilled enough, you'll probably be saving your team from failure and deep dives when there's just too many enemies. In tier 1, we're going to go with high capacity magazine for an increased magazine size of 110 bullets. This doubles the magazine size, which means we can output twice as much damage in between reloads. You'll be able to kill twice as many enemies, you'll be able to deal twice as much damage to dreadnought bosses, and the best part is you'll need to reload half as often. This is super nice because the auto cannon has the absolute longest reload time in the game. I can drink my entire energy drink by the time I'm done reloading because it takes so long. So, doubling the magazine size is a good trade-off instead of going with increased caliber rounds for an additional 3 damage per bullet or an additional 220 to the max ammo. In tier 2, we're going to go with improved gas system, which means it's a really good idea we went with the increased mag size in tier 1 because we're going to be shooting these bullets out a lot faster. Since we're going for the maximum carnage possible, this increased rate of fire means our damage per second goes up a lot. When the rate of fire increases this much, the auto cannon will kill enemies faster and deal damage more quickly to oppressors and dreadnoughts. Lighter barrel assembly sounds good in theory since you'll reach the auto cannon's maximum fire rate faster, which means you'll start doing more damage more quickly, but this is actually a loss in damage when it's all said and done. I'll spare you all the theoretical math lesson, mostly because there's not much value in getting caught in the weeds like that, but know that the difference in damage isn't a small number. If you do want to dive into the weeds and compare the actual numbers, I've linked to a discord in the description that has a DPS calculator to help you use the DPS calculator and you can see the numbers for yourself. Moving on to tier 3, we're going to go with supercharged feed mechanism for another increase to the rate of fire. Going with an increase in each bullet's damage sounded like a good idea, but going with high velocity rounds actually lowers the damage output for the auto cannon. With the increased rate of fire, you'll do more total damage and more burst damage than a raw increase for each bullet. Loaded rounds, which increases the area damage each bullet does, was also just not a good enough option. In tier 4, you've only got two options to choose from, hardened rounds, which makes bullets break armor on enemies faster and increase the size of their weak point, or shrapnel rounds, which increases the splash damage radius for each bullet. Honestly, you could go either way and get a pretty good amount of value. You'll be able to hit the weak points on Praetorians easier, which means you can kill them faster, but shrapnel rounds means your bullets will hit more enemies at the same time, so you can kill more enemies in the same amount of time. You're welcome to pick the one you think means more to you, but if you really don't know which one to go with, go with shrapnel rounds for the increased splash damage radius. There's only one mod in tier 5 that lets us do more damage with the auto cannon. Feedback loop is a 20% damage increase when you reach the top rate of fire. This pairs perfectly with the double magazine size from tier 1 and the rate of fire improvements we went with in tiers 2 and 3. The auto cannon will have this 20% damage buff longer with the increased magazine size and it'll fire more bullets out when it reaches its max rate of fire for a ton of damage. 
Smaller enemies will just get shredded through, and large targets can just get hundreds of bullets sent into them for a ton of damage. This build is exactly what you need after a little bit of time on the gunner class and want to take that leap from beginner to someone stepping into hard end game content. If you like this build, share the video with others so they can enjoy their games more. If you want to enjoy your games more, subscribe to the channel and like this video to help me out. Check out the Discord in the description below where we're talking about the weapons and builds we use and love. Thanks for watching.